Hi, hello. Good hello. morrow, everyone. <laughs> Good morrow, Audra. Good morrow, everyone. Good morrow to Judy, Nancy, Allie, Sharon, Felisa, Kat. Uh, let's see who else we got in here. Harper Riggs is in here. Sabrina, hello. Wow, Angie, hi, how are you? Paisley, welcome. Uh, Sabrina, hi, how are you? Cecily, hey there. I just wanted to say some quick hellos to as many people as I could that I could see in the chat. Amanda, yes. and welcome to the stream. Before we get started, we did want to go ahead and do some quick housekeeping, which is, of course, thank each and every one of you who happened to make it to these live streams every time we have them. Yes. Very appreciative of each and every one of you for, who are able to show up, whether you are lurking or simply cleaning and doing things while listening, you are appreciated. Uh, yes. For those of you watching it on the replay, you are also greatly appreciated because I know watching a live stream is not necessarily the easiest thing, but we try our best to make it easy on you. And if possible, pay if you're going to look and watch it, you pay to the screen, we pop comments up and all that kind of good stuff. Also, huge shout out to the, what are they called? Spooky Bay's patron channel members. Huge yeah. shout out to your patrons, our patrons. Yes. You know, thank yes. you. Your and singing helps. It helps because <laughs> it makes me like think about these things. <laughs> well, then also, to the moderators, thank oh, yes, you. Yes, to the moderators. Thank you so much for doing this job you don't get paid for. I pay you in content. Yes, we pay Mediocre you in, in good energy. <laughs> shush, 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 shush. <laughs> Any who's it? Um, <laughs> what we're going to be talking about today with we being me, I'm Audra, and this is my, wait, is it this way? Oh, I did, I did it right this time. This is my dear friend, Emily. I'm so excited. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I did it right for once. I think it's because this camera is actually, I feel like it's kind of the right way. I could be wrong. Who knows? Anyways. Um, Things are hard. Living is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and we just wanted to talk about, it just makes it a, a very easy uh chill stream. Uh, I have yes. uh, been suffering a little bit, but I'm doing much better today. And we wanted to talk about like something fun, which is, you know, all the things that new makeup nonsense bingo and other YouTubers have yeah. activated our makeup goblins and put us in just like, you know, a bit of a, a bit, a bit of a kerfluffle. <laughs> cat butt. I, I have cats. That's a cat tail actually. And uh, Tyrion is the, uh, the, the spotlight stealer uh, of always. So uh, that was, that was a little hello from Tyrion. Uh <laughs> Oh, Pollyanna, welcome. Welcome, everybody. I didn't actually say hi. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm highly, like, uh, conscientious of, like, I'm looking at different camera angles. And I do this every time. But, like, tonight my brain is like, eh. So uh, if anybody else is noticing, I, I see it. My, my camera's up here. My computer is down here. And then there's just stuff. Um, but, yes, we wanted to just kind of chill. And... Uh, and and when we say kind of like YouTube made us buy it, I also wanted to just be like, no one's making us buy anything. As you said, it yeah. activated Makeup Goblin. I have a very strong Makeup Goblin. Uh, and uh, New Makeup Month of Bingo is the, oh, yes. Oh, absolutely, Alicia, Kelsey, Makeup Sirens made me bought it. Uh, hey, I actually, Fila. wait, should I start? Hey, Fila, yeah, welcome. Go ahead and start. Because <laughs> that is like, it wasn't going to be the first thing I was going to start with, but uh, the Dior, the Dior backstage <sighs> face glow palette, the rose, the rose gold one. Um, uh, Alicia, like I knew I wanted it and we talked about it in New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, but then I saw Alicia play with all of them and I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> like I, uh, you were like, I'm going to enrich my life. <laughs> like, I, 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 I talked to Audra about this because we've actually, uh, I should have pulled out my copacetic highlighter, but I love pinky tone highlighters. They are my favorite. They're my, my favorite, like na natural, more natural highlighters versus like green or or purple or something that I go for uh versus like or gold so like with this palette just being this like quad of of 
pinks with the with the gold in there, but just like the shiniest things I don't need, but I'm so very happy that I was influenced to purchase this this one. I was just like <laughs> I was just like digging through my makeup, like looking at different things cuz I could probably put YouTube towards a good 75 to 90 percent of my makeup purchases um yeah. and I was like but this one because like I bought this at launch I was like ready I was ready to get this so you, yeah hey you, Alex yeah. good morrow good <laughs> morrow Alex I'm so glad more people are picking up on that I appreciate it I it adore good so morrow it's perfection <laughs> so this is definitely and like I have so many creators that I adore watching, but as I put it, I said I stopped watching Alicia because I literally can't afford to. Yes. I have to be very particular in how and when I watch different creators. Different creators satisfy different things for me. And yeah. even though I want to consistently push loving support towards all of the people that I enjoy watching, I also have to protect my own like my own self because my makeup goblin is strong. And if I don't have money to spend, which I legitimately don't always have that money to spend, I can't be watching somebody talk about $45 face quads. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, I, okay. So this, this, some of this was inspired by like some of these things I didn't necessarily buy because of, of new makeup nonsense, That's but fine. the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale was on. And for those of you that don't know, I am a sucker for half price. <laughs> Anything it's half price. I'm like, is it half price? Then maybe, is it worth it? Let me work it. Let me put my thing down, flip it, flip it and then reverse, reverse it. it. Um, so, <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I was so like for real i got the peach and lily matcha pudding antioxidant cream oh I, like i'm so sorry like oh god it peach and lily you, oh, is that brand that i have really, yet to buy from peach. and they are just like <laughs> they are just like i see you I, and I, yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's Lily, really no, it. Because it is, it, it, peach and Lily is so expensive <laughs> to me, to my broke yeah. ass. Peach and Lily is very expensive. Oh, yes. However, Agreed. I did pick this up and I also picked up a refill of the Wild Dew Treatment Essence because the shit, oh my God, if you want your face to feel like wet, <laughs> like, wet and like supple that shit is i'm like uh -huh. i like apply it liberally i put it on my neck like i want to be you know i want to look supple like, everywhere yes i want to be the supple vampire queen that i'm supposed to be and it's very annoying if i'm so like i got that nine runs 50 percent off is why i only <laughs> order pizza on mondays now for real like oh. so i got that and I got the do, but if we're going to talk about what happened because of new makeup nonsense, bingo, I'm guilty. These are all of <laughs> those fucking <laughs> Juvia's Place glow bombs. I have one on right now. I'm still mad because I cannot get the coconut one and I'm very annoyed. Like who, this is, see, this is one of those things where I'm like, all these black people buying up the coconut. I know it. I can feel it. <laughs> I feel it deep in my soul. I'm like, listen, I guarantee you that I, every black person that I walk up to, and I'm like, do you buy Juvia's place? And they're like, yes. And then I'm going to be like, do you have the coconut bomb? And they're going to be like, of course I do. And I'm be like, I knew it. Give it. No, <laughs> just kidding. You're going to be like, I fucking hate you. I love you. I don't hate you. But like, also, I hate you. It's like that's the only one that I like is never in stock. I can never get. It. I, I swear, the second it gets in stock, like the black folk come a running, coconut, and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> Let me have one. <laughs> Do you like them? I'm always curious because, like, not everything I pulled out is 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 alike. So I wanted to like to mention that, or not. You know what? I like everything. I don't love everything that that I'm mentioning tonight. I like them because they make my lips look all mwah, mwah. So far, they yeah. haven't been giving me any of that, like, goop. 
Mm, Unless okay. you apply it just a little too weird. Natalie, yeah. the essence is the peach and lily wild dew treatment essence. Because you drench <laughs> and you rewind. <laughs> you're, you're dewy. You're dewy. <laughs> you look cuddly, by the way. Yes. Uh, this is... Uh, a comfy of course it's a comfy wait it does it have the yes on the pocket this is their teddy bear half quarter zip whatever i night, love casey. it and oh good night casey um and while i am very much looking forward to the weather getting warmer i'm also like like you will part with the well i don't know if i have a strong enough air conditioning to live in this all summer long but this um, will be the only thing i miss about summer because i'm a warm weather baby um this is one of the few times the, i'm gonna laugh in texan <laughs> because our ac units are built for this shit no like my ac <laughs> stays pretty cold but i also have a not a central air situation so that's that's different um what do I want to mention? Okay, I I am going to mention the thing that I don't dislike, but I definitely feel like I saw it, and because I saw it, because we were doing like because I'm I'm not I'm I don't follow the new release Instagrams because they're not they're no bueno for me, but me because we do these videos, I see things, and then I'm like, ooh, I want it, and people share things and all of that stuff. But yeah. I picked up the and um, this this is from I think it was last spring now or last summer. Glam Vice was the first brand to do pastel water activated oh, liners. Yeah. I I picked up this is the they they were in like cute like popsicle cardboard packaging like nothing too over the top but um I picked up the full set and actually split up um Alex who was in the chat took two of them off my hands and they are cute but i just i kind of knew this when i bought these me and water activated liners are just not my go-to's and glam and here's the thing is that all water activated liners are private label glam vice was the ones that brought it to the market first mm -hmm. and they price them as they price them i'm not gonna say they're overpriced because that's not my space to say the brands overpriced but once i saw other brands releasing them and then i saw water activated liner palettes and all of that i just don't reach for these as much yeah. as like little individual like they're cute but they're not something i reach for as much and even though i'm a hoe for pastels as eyeliner like i played with them today but like i'm not really gonna go in and do that kind of like graphic liner work very often so yeah it was an experimentation that it, where I was like, I kind of know what the results are going to be, but I want to see. And I was right. So no yeah, dislike. Yeah, I did the same or, thing with the Midas Cake Liners. Like, I love them. Yeah. They're beautiful. But, like, I don't I do not do graphic liner enough. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. But if you wanted to pick them up because you want to do that, you know, from time to time, then that's a good one to get. The palettes are nice because, to me, I would reach for them much more often than I'll reach for little individual pots of things. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I am not gonna reach for a little individual. Hey, Lauren, I'm lazy. Did you know that my <laughs> shirt actually says um, drugs are really expensive? Did you notice that? It I saw dare. drugs are really. I saw the dare, and I saw drugs are really. So I was like, <laughs> that shirt is gonna be something I love, and other people are not gonna like it. <laughs> hey, that was uh, one of those lies we were told when we were when we were younger. They're like, oh, everybody's going to be just handing it out to you it was like candy. And that, that's not, that wasn't true. Yeah. We had this whole conversation recently where I'm just like, no one is sneaking edibles into Halloween candy because oh. edibles are fucking expensive and we're not going to give them away to children, even Thank in you. legal states. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's such a weird all. thing to do. I was like. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> mad though because like here I am almost 41 nobody like well maybe some people gave me some free but still it wasn't a lot <laughs> okay so what's what's next for you um so <sighs> this was a situation um I I clowned myself with the KVD good <laughs> apple okay I clowned myself I made really? footage of this because first of all, we have to remember one very important thing. Woodruds is not like cream as my base. I forgot. I don't like it. 
I don't, I don't, the, it just, it doesn't go on my skin well. It feels like sludge. It feels like an old crusty man who hasn't had anything to drink for 17 hours dragged his thick, gross <laughs> tongue across my skin. So that's how I felt about it's this. That was the, a very specific it's, reference. It's the tongue. <laughs> it's, I was like, okay, gross, dry. And then you mentioned the tongue and I'm just like, <laughs> I, okay. I don't like green products. The footage that I may release <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I am, I may drop it somewhere, but uh, I also choose real. the wrong shade. Make it a real. And I, I look like I am wearing blackface, and I am black, so that is twice I have done that now. Uh, that was I was just like I was sitting there. I was like, no, I'm a clown. Twice. <laughs> I really was like, well, this was a choice. I feel like sometimes they'll like, sorry, I'm like moving this thing here. Because oh, you're fine. There's like this fuzz on it and I can't function with seeing like, it's what the, I leave these plastic things on everything for like way too long. Um, <laughs> and I was like, there's this piece of fuzz that I can see. It's making me feel <laughs> batty. Um, but this, it just didn't feel good. And I like, I even like wet it down. Like I spritzed it I, I was like psst. I actually went in with another another uh ultra 21 days because I wanted it because everybody always talks about the mac fix plus of course and I was with like, coconut I it. yeah it's in coconut of course <laughs> it wasn't even this one wasn't even on sale and I was like mm. um oh, this is, is a it, good question does it have an I apple scent so. Yeah, I, I think, think it has it like apple extract or something in it. Is that where the apple? No, it doesn't smell like apple at all. From? It kind of stinks. Yeah, I'm like it doesn't. Well, because I've got my nose wet right up in it. It's not like bad, y'all. It's just. But also, I know that Audrey doesn't like cream bronzers either. Really, right? I have a couple that I like. I have one from Salt New York, which at some point I need to like. I'll probably do an about face with some of my Salt New York, but like, yeah. It just like because I just I don't like the feel of it, and I was like, "Do you dip your finger in?" And I did it all these different ways. I'm like, "Do you dip your finger in? Do you do this?" And then like, "Do you do?" You, and every way I tried it, it was just not good. And it's so yeah. funny because like oh, like you could see it on my hand that it's not the right shade, right? Yeah. And I was like, "Well, maybe yeah. it'll work once it's blended, you know, and all this stuff." And <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be so brown. I, you know what? I like it. Just I just need to remind myself. That I don't mind cream blush, I don't mind cream highlighter, but I I hate a cream base product. And I learned that specifically when I was uh, playing with um, Danessa Myricks. And yeah. Danessa Myricks makes like really great products, but like I just don't. There's something about cream products for my base that just makes me. Well, y'all heard that gross ass description. So like, that's what it feels <laughs> like to me. <laughs> also, I wanted to say, so 93 Runt asked, is the good apple decent or not worth it? Here's the thing that I find like with whenever a foundation gets hyped up or, or whatever, is that first of all, the hype does feel a little bit like, like advertisement, like undisclosed advertisement, but also everyone's skin is different. So I never want to be like, it's <laughs> worth it or it's not. It's like how you gave that information where you're like, I don't like cream products for these reasons. This is what it felt like on my skin. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it does seem like it's a cream compact of foundation. Like I don't own it, but just, yeah. uh, I don't know if anybody saw, but like Jackie Ina did a couple of YouTube shorts talking about mm -hmm. the foundation and was just like, it's like kind of like, dream matte mousse from Maybelline from years ago mm. and I was like okay like that says a lot so I also think it's how you work with it I don't know that's that's my that's my like very diplomatic take on saying if something is quote-unquote worth it or not so yeah because like I don't <clears throat> excuse me I don't know what's like going on with my throat right now but it's like being like all it's like there's something right here and I can't like <laughs> Oh, it's like sorry, stuck right there. Oh <laughs> and I'm just yes. like la, 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 la. so sorry if I keep doing that. Yeah, I mean it's like the compact is cute and everything and it's nice, but it's just like not it just isn't for me. Like it's just yeah. it's not my thing. And like I clown myself. I clown myself because I forgot I just don't like cream 
as my base. I don't mind putting it on top of everything. I felt like it was heavy on my skin, but I'm also, I have combination oily skin, combination leaning more oily. It felt like it was a little bit heavy on my skin. I also felt like it was dry as fuck. That's the other thing that I thought was weird. It felt really dry. <laughs> and I know like me, again, it could be me and my application process, how I did it. I tried, like, I tried finger fucking it on my face. But I tried here's the to- thing though, Audra, is that you don't, I mean, you tried it different ways. So you like, I know you're clarifying so that you don't get like some hate but the reality is that the way people were applying it and raving about it i'm like you're painting it on of course it's gonna look amazing also it's okay i had this conversation with alex in the chat because sincerely alex has the foundation and i was hearing all this or i was hearing good things and i was like oh i think i want it and then like they talked about something about it the madness or whatever and i was like I don't even think I was paying attention to the fact that it was matte. I was letting the hype yeah. like hype me up so much where I was just dry. like, I was like, I think I'm going to hold off then. And then by the time that happened, like it was out of stock everywhere. So I'm glad I didn't d- d- haven't picked it up yet. Not that I might not in the future, but yeah, That's why I, I just like how you're weird. like, I that played was- myself. I did because I was like, this shit is so dry. Like, and I have, you know, and I have oily skin. So for it to just be like yes. not gliding yeah. on my face. So yeah. I just, I tried a few different things. I tried a few different brushes and I just couldn't like, even with it being the wrong shade, I did not like the feel of it on my face. And I was just like, yeah. I don't like it. And that's just, that's just a me thing. I don't like cream as my, my main base. I don't like it. And I don't like it. <laughs> like, yeah. I like liquid. I don't like cream. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, so I didn't. Uh... Oh, <laughs> hey, T, it's fine. New makeup nonsense bingo. Just It's just YouTube made it, made us buy shit, basically. But welcome. <laughs> um, First of I all, didn't... also, T, don't be sad because I didn't know if anybody would get it other than me because I just yeah, didn't want to type me. it out. I wasn't in a good space. <laughs> 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 I was just like, yeah, I'm in um favorite spot concealer is definitely pat mcgrath pat mcgrath concealer is well i mean okay i'm i'm a liar because i don't actually use it as spot concealing so much but I, I it's my favorite concealer if you want coverage yeah i mean i have a few different cons- listen i have a lot but i that's if the first I do one with that it, like if i sat head. there to be like <laughs> that's true that's these true. are all my concealers Listen, I'm a clown and I buy a lot of concealer because I am who I am as a person, which is a goblin. So I am your <laughs> I am the goblin friend. <laughs> and so like I'm gonna be the person who just like does that dumb shit. Like my feelings are hurt. I'm already like I'm over here. I'm tr- considering, considering whether or not I'm gonna be dumb and and try the Fenty skin thing. I you okay, know I was going to say I did not pull that product out because I bought it before because I was a, a monster and but well, it kind of counts. I it still really count. like, I like the skin tint. I, I've used it multiple times. I've used it on camera. I've worn it off. Um, is it like that unique to the market? No. Nah. Do I care? Is it? Exactly. <laughs> so I definitely, I actually, I pulled out Fenty lip products because I feel like Fenty definitely has those things where I've said this before. Uh, or I've said this in a discord and uh, Fenty to me is 30, 33% gimmick, 33% bad, bad products and 33% good products. For me, the lip gloss, the slip shines, the eyeliners and the skin tints of the stuff I've tried. That's the good shit. And that's the stuff where I'm just like, yeah, I am glad I fell into the hype, but a, a lot of it, not so much. But well, yeah, Alex, just expect a message from me shortly. Um, <laughs> Alex knows why. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm I mean, I know be, why too. Yeah, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm like, I'm putting things together. <laughs> what else did you pick up? <laughs> oh, wait, you froze. 
Yes, T is in the chat. It looks like Emily froze. So I'm going to <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> wait. Audra Goblin me. The labyrinth, the babe with the power. I'm so done. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to pick up the flower concealer? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I keep seeing the, I don't keep seeing, I've seen the display at CVS like twice and I'm like, too expensive. What the hell are you doing in the drugstore? Like when some <laughs> recently compared the price of a, ta of a flower beauty, a flower beauty lip gloss to power 28 lip gloss and it was $2 difference. Yeah. Like, why are you this expensive? Yes. Uh, but I maybe I'll pick one of their concealers. Uh, but yeah, the 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 Fenty skin tint, I, I still really like it as of a yeah. week and a half later. So <laughs> see, see how my feelings are just like destroyed because like I like I do like, because the Flower Beauty one, and here's what, like, I will say this a million and one times. I don't love it when people talk about creasing or like not even creasing. Yeah, creasing and settling and fine lines. Everything is going to settle in my, I'm old. Er, I have lines and product that is liquidy is going to settle into it. There's like, what, what it's not. I don't know how else to explain it, uh, but people will say that, uh, say that, and especially when I have someone who's 21 years old who doesn't have a wrinkle at all, being like, it's not settling into my fine lines. I'm like, you don't have any fine lines for it to settle into, first and foremost. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, you know, and that's like, I find that when I stopped powdering it, it stopped looking as dry and as sad and gross underneath my under eyes, like when everybody was baking. Like as soon as I stopped doing that, and if you want it to like be a little more ploof be ploop like supple i used i in case y'all didn't know if i can't think of the word i just use sound effects so if you want it to look just like more like supple underneath your under eye then just put a like dab of moisturizer under there right before you do your concealer and that'll be fine yeah but like yeah I was curious if you have any thoughts on this this comment from Beck from G Beckstead. I have the Juvia's Place concealer; it's super pigmented, <laughs> but I find it settles into fine lines and doesn't dry down. Help, Audra, at home. That one does. It is a thick bitch. So the thing about hold oh, on, wait. let me go grab that bitch. Uh, let me get my old ass up. <sighs> Making an old woman move. <sighs> and, while, and while Audra actually goes to get the product to give good advice, I'm going to have a salty bitch moment. I was going to wait until when they were finished talking, but since I got up, I was going to say, sometimes products are just shit for you and don't actually work or like don't work for you. Um, and I'm not saying that like that's anything wrong with your like anyone's application or skin or the product, but like sometimes they're just not a good a good combo but since audra has the actual product they probably have some advice on how to work with it uh <laughs> i just grabbed the majority of my concealers in case anybody was like, <laughs> i was like i can't get up again no i can't i can't it's fine um so this is a thick ass bitch and if you want to play <laughs> with the juvia's place one you kind of have to like, so what I figured out is one, I like to get the shade is just almost as close to the foundation as possible. And then my application, I just kind of like splay Wait, it out because you don't, hold on. Yes. Okay. I splay it out like this. Because the way that the doe foot is like, it barely actually picks up product. So if you're very careful mm -hmm. and then you just like splay it all the way, kind of splay it all the way out. And then I blend it with a brush, not a sponge. And the majority, I think, of concealers that I have found where I thought that they weren't drying down, oh, it's because I was using a sponge. As soon as I switched mm -hmm. to using a brush, I stopped having that problem with the majority of my concealers. Now, the Pat McGrath one also doesn't necessarily really dry down either. That one's pretty moist and like emollient. Yeah. If you want something drier, you might try the Oma Beauty. That one's a little bit drier than the, <sighs> excuse me, <laughs> than the Juvia's Place. <laughs> it's interesting older. because the Oma Beauty is, to me, is more um, emollient than Pat. It is. 
for my skin, like when I am playing with it. But it's also a different texture because it's much yeah. more like whipped and fluffy. Whereas the pat one, I feel like, is pretty, probably not as thick as Juvia's place, but like a denser thick, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, cause- I, cause like a dry skin, I like if I have oily skin, and for those of us yes. with oily skin, especially in this area, and here's the thing: a lot of people who have oily skin have like a lot of dryness right here for no apparent reason because we're it's rude. Also, as you get older, this area can dry out, so it is helpful for me to like make sure that I'm doing some bomb ass skincare. But like you can already see that this still isn't drying down all that yeah. well and it doesn't want to like it's it, it really is super pigmented very emollient it is not trying to like just dry down so that's why it settles into your lines because anything that doesn't want to dry down that's why everybody was like powdering the fuck out of their faces but like i just prefer to like blend it out with a brush and then yeah. the little bit that settles like i'm gonna be okay like I, I will live my life with like, cause like, I have these lines right here. Like I'm not, and I'm not trying to pretend they don't exist. Um, you know, and the small amount of product that gets in there, it's not enough for me to feel like, Oh my God, nobody look at me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I have normal, I have pretty normal skin. It veers dry sometimes. Sometimes it'll be more oily, but like I have a very obvious set of like, creasing it's like it's lines but they're like folds basically underneath my eyes no concealer is gonna look great in there like yeah. some look worse than others but for me and and i'm not saying this is not for everyone obviously but when i stopped powdering my under eyes they looked miles better and i would a year and a half ago the emily of a year and a half ago if they weren't able to time travel and watch me in the future would be like who the fuck are you? What are you talking about? But like when I stop doing it, I mean, it's different if you're working for a long period of time out and about in the world, but like being at home, putting on makeup to go out for a little bit, whatever, like the less powder for, for the face, not necessarily like cream products, but the less like powdering of concealer that I did, it kind of looked better. Uh, no, yeah. 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 Out working, I no matter what job I had, and I worked in logistics, I would sweat in 118 degree heat. Like, if that was what was outside, I can't tell you what was inside the un, un air conditioned uh, warehouse, but I would still come out looking amazing. I, I could just yeah. go out to eat afterwards because I, if you think about it, and I look at it in any context, right? Also, this is hilarious. It took you this long, but we broke we broke Alex. Alex just bought the <laughs> clean, fresh skin milk today. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, the thing is, I look at it this way. For my skin, um, I putting a dry layer of powder on top of all of these moist products uh for my skin in particular tends to make everything look cakey and crusty and weird as the day goes on because i'm sweating could you stop kicking the concealer thank you because i'm sweating and and then like some people will reapply so i'm sweating and it's trying to like suck up the the moisture so you have this like constant thing happening until yes. you just don't really have any powder left in some areas and so i just find that whenever i like back in the olden days of audra in the club uh <laughs> i just didn't like the way that i looked whenever i used powder every time i went out by you know i'd be dancing having a good time when i put powder on my face i just looked a whole mess to me i was like within two hours me dancing and having fun i was just like i look disgusting in all of the pictures i was like i hate this and i really it was but that was back in the olden days like when everybody was just like fucking dry out your face yeah dry it yeah. down with all the powder and you were just everything every was, like was like flat mat Yes. yes. Cuz it was like, and, okay, let me put on my uh primer mm -hmm. and then let me put on some powder. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put on the foundation. Yeah, great. Now we're going to put on some powder. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do our concealer. Uh-huh. Now we're going to put on some more powder. Like it was just like there were layers and layers of powder. Yeah. And so for me, uh, again, that was back then, but I just didn't, I felt like I looked significantly worse when I was powdering <laughs> than when I just like let it the fuck out. I was like, yeah. Cool. 
And that's why I highlighted Floralisa's comment because the thing that I remember, my under eyes always, I say they, I say they eat the concealer. Like mm -hmm. I've always dealt with fading. I have for for in my consideration, I feel like my under eye circles are pr fairly dark, like genetically so. And and I say it because like I know it's an area that frustrates me. Whatever, mm -hmm. but. They've always dealt with fading, even when I have really good skincare and I'm moisturized and they're plump and like the concealer just fades. When I was powdering those under eyes, what would happen is that the concealer would still fucking fade, but then it would just be powdery. And <laughs> you so, would be left with crust eye. <laughs> yeah, basically, like you might have a little bit of coverage still there if your powder had some some color or tint to it. But generally what happened is I was still getting fading. The powder isn't for in my experience, I didn't feel like it was locking it into place. I think it's mm -hmm. different on other parts of your face. Like mm -hmm. for me, putting a powder blush down is often a better choice than just a straight cream blush for going out in the world, especially with my glasses. Yeah. But on the under eyes, the powder wasn't doing any any magic to lock it in. I might go back to using like a blurry powder underneath that area at some point in time in the future, but I I'm not I don't believe in that like locking it in at least in the under eyes because it just didn't work for me that way. So yeah, that's my take on that. Yeah, I mean I did like a stupid it, like it it was testing nothing, but I just kind of put you know concealer or foundation on my hand at one point in time put powder on top of it yeah and i just i watched kind of how it degraded <laughs> throughout the day because, yeah because i was curious and it just it just ends up like i felt like the skin looks crinkly and here's the thing the older that you get there's unless you are doing fillers and all of that good stuff which there's nothing wrong with that but the older yeah. that you get the like there are going to be parts of your skin that are going to dry out and adding powder to those parts for me anyway I'm going to say just tends to make, especially these delicate areas look worse as the yeah. day goes on. Exactly. So like, and once I started realizing that like, if I put down a powder highlighter, okay, I'm, there's a, a large majority of my face that I'm basically setting with that mm -hmm. powder highlighter. Mm -hmm. So, and I've said this before, so it's like, why do I need to set that and then put on more powder? Whereas when I, like today I had the skin tint, the, the Fenty skin tint on, and then I went in and highlighted and then I did blush. And then I'm like, okay, like with certain products, like maybe the skin tint as it gets warmer and with the, the skin milk from CoverGirl, sometimes I will at the end powder where there's no other product. So I'm like, okay, this part needs a little powder or this, like I'll go in after and kind of powder more focused without it being like baking. So yeah. yeah. And I like this comment from Gabby saying, no drag yeah. to anyone. I will say, please consider what type of makeup you like compared to some YouTubers. Some people only buy makeup for pictures and video where some people use makeup outside. And that's a big thing. I that I will always say that, like you've heard Robert say it, you more than likely, like we, a lot of people, I, Jackie Ina said it, the makeup that a lot of people are wearing in their videos is adjusting for like changes in light, um, like how it's gonna look on camera versus how it looks in real life. And that's why like a lot of times, like I never really got into it because I just was like, I'm gonna put on my makeup like I'm I'm going somewhere, which at the time was me still using like YouTube techniques, right? Yeah. And at some point I realized like, I was like, I don't like this. Like I like contouring my face, no. No. Yeah. I'm, exactly. It's fine. I don't have the time for that. Like I just don't. I'm like when I kept trying to do it, I was just like, this is a lot of effort, and for what? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm making my face more Eurocentric, and I'm good with being black, so I don't need my face to look that way. <laughs> and and, so like, and that's kind of how I've been with bronzer. Like I think about, it, I'm like, I have some really nice bronzers in my collection. At I, I still don't touch them unless I'm in a very specific mode because I'm like, I'm, I'm pale and I really like blush and I really like highlighter and I don't really want to add brown to my face, like in the scheme of the other makeup that I do a lot of times. So I'm like, I need to step away from how much bronzer I I'm interested in because it can be a beautiful formula, but 
So no, but weird? again, it's not weird. Again, everyone has, and see, that actually sounds interesting to have a powder foundation. Like, I actually mm-hmm. thought about the Fenty one where I'm like, having a powder foundation to go in and kind of use in like specific places or in this, like the techniques that you're already using. Like, I don't think it's weird at all. I think also the way makeup applies in 2021 is so different from what we think about it sometimes. Like when we think about powder foundation, we think about the the powder foundations we might've known five, 10 years ago. And we're yeah. still judging it on that. Whereas yeah, was, the I was using powder foundation up until six years ago. Yeah. Like it was probably like five or six years ago was when I stopped using powder foundation. And that was because of a beauty box. They sent me um a sample of the Tarte Amazonian clay foundation, which clay is right. Yeah. Yeah. I try like I, that used to be my ride or die though. I loved that foundation. Then I started getting these other foundations and I was like, oh, this is so nice. And then I went back to that. I was like, why, <laughs> why does my face look so dry? <laughs> like my under eyes, it was like fucking Mad Max desert under there. It was terrible. I was like, what the fuck? I used to look like a bad bitch. And then <laughs> now I look like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the monster. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the that? Hits with Matt. Do you have any more products that you picked? Yes, up? I do. I do. Go for it. Okay. This is pure clownery, and I've talked about it before, but like, <laughs> speaking of like, <laughs> just like the fact that I have. I purchased three different Ritual Defeat products uh, at a time when I was like, I don't really like cream products. And now I'm like, <laughs> shut, shut up. Uh, that's not true. But like, I will cool. still say that these two. So I have two of the color nectar bombs. I have wasp and bee sting. Um, yes, it's a yellowy orange cream blush. And then I have chimera, which is a goldy green highlighter. It looks very gold, but it really is green. Um, and then Audra gifted me with siren, which I did not buy, but it's another, another goldy highlighter, but peach. Chimera, I have no absolute no regrets for. It's kind of a tricky formula to work with. Uh, it's one that I can only really use my fingers, my fingers with, like as a cream product. Um, yeah, I have another one of theirs that's like that. But, and the same is really true with these blushes. I kind of don't get the hype on these. Like they are pretty colors, but I find them really difficult to like I, I can't really use a brush with them. Um I find that they like they're pretty, but I don't know. They're just fresh they're a little frustrating to work with. With the blush, I really want to be able to just like throw a, a brush in there and apply it like that. Mm. And my favorite cream blushes I can do that. And these I really can't. So I have to remember to like pull them out and use them. Um, and even the formula, it's pretty, but it's not always my favorite cream formula. I don't know. It's <laughs> like it's I do not know why, but that caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know why. Because they said I'm an actual reptile. This is why I live for <laughs> cream products. Thank you, I'm an Elizabeth. Actual reptile. That's amazing. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, reptile. Tell me you have dry skin without saying you have dry skin. <laughs> I love that. Oh, Wait, sorry, I I see. Oh no, Apologies. you're good. <laughs> I tried them with a sponge, but I didn't have much luck. Um, I don't know. Good I don't know. Alexis. But hello, Alexis. But yeah, I felt like an actual like clown because also I bought these three separate times, which means, yes, I, I paid for shipping three oh. separate times. I had coupons for each one. That's why I so like they weren't it wasn't the worst, but like I bought them from the brand website three different times and paid for shipping each time. So I feel like I definitely fell into the hype. Um, if anybody hears me talking about buying eye soots, come smack me. Like, because <laughs> there is something about the aesthetic of Ritual Defeat where like, I understand why it has this cult following, 
but I don't necessarily know if it's actually worth the the hype that they get. And the little eye slits are in these like little jars that my big ass fingers would never fit into. Like regular fingers barely fit into the jars. I've heard people talk about this. And they're like not powder, not creams, but it's like what so many of the indie press shadows that are special shadows that I already have are. And they're like $38 a jar or something. Ooh. Exactly. Yay. Exactly. And Lauren's like, I want the eye sets. I'm just saying for me, if I ever mention it, literally call no. exactly. <laughs> That's an invite to my friends, not to strangers, by the way. That yeah. gave me diarrhea just like a little bit when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> when you were <laughs> like $38, I was like, diarrhea, cha cha cha. Um, <laughs> It was the cha 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 for me. I just lost. Does <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody ever notice how like my head is like this shape and like my shoulders are like a linebacker, so I just like look like this floating head? On anyways, we're gonna move no, away from that. We're gonna like talk about these. Head. You don't look like a floating head. <laughs> I always feel like my head is like jutting out from my body. It's really it's like a weird because like I'm swole for no reason right here. We've talked about this on a Twitch stream. It's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> Yes, bodies, she was bodies are fucking weird. Okay, let's just let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Everybody's doing the Beavis and Butthead diary. <laughs> That's why the cha 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 caught me off guard. I was like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Ulta Twenty One Days of Beauty. I've been wanting to try like there the. It the it brushes and these are the it for Ulta, and here's my thing. I was like, you know what? I'll try the it for Ulta because if these ain't shit, then I'm not missing out on anything from the regular it brushes, right? Because uh -huh. uh, if these suck, then there's like no reason. Now I'm kind of like they'll call all these like foundation brushes or whatever. I don't know. I don't ever like this. This is supposed to be buffing foundation. I almost never use a flat top brush for that. I use it for for blush, and it's actually really good because it gets all over my face, all over my face. Yeah. And it's like, ah, I'll get it on my face. So that was a good time. This has become my favorite. This is supposed to be their smoothing foundation. It's number 102. I use it for concealer. It is mm -hmm. very nice because if I'm just doing like a big blend, especially when I'm using like several different several different shades of concealer, <laughs> then I use this to like blend it all do. out. I do. <laughs> and then because I have so many of them. You might as well, well like layer and mix <laughs> and be an alchemist on your face. I don't know. And then I, this one for foundation, which I, this one is the blurring foundation. And I do like this one just to like use it actually for foundation. All of them are actually quite nice. They're soft. They're like pretty dense. Um, they're going to be stiffer. Like uh, they're a little bit stiffer but I like them. Like this, this foundation brush is a little bit stiffer. This one, I, again, I use this for blush because it's going to pick up and then I can just yeah. do that big, like poofy to doof. And I used I it for my, -doof. <laughs> <laughs> for the Moira <laughs> blushes that I got, which I'm sending you one of them. Okay. Um, yeah. This they're is why I sale. Like I would only buy it brushes, even the it for Ulta, like on oh, a yeah. decent sale. Uh, yeah, they were all, like, yeah. they were all 50% off. I would never buy them yeah. full price. Cause I didn't I think, even buy my Marc Jacobs one full price. So like, yeah, no, I think last 21 days of beauty, like not this last one, but the one before one of the double ended it brushes was on sale. And I know double ended brushes are generally hated, but it, the one the other end was, is a small concealer brush and it's very flat on the bottom. So I just like clean it and use it if I want to use it. I bought it cause I was like, it, it's, it's on sale. But it, like it's dinky compared to what it looked like online. So I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm good for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away. Like, uh, uh, I'm okay." Um, but yeah, because if I had done that, I want to clown myself on this bullshit. Bye bye under eye. I feel you like you it. What? I I've never used it, but I just trusted that it's trash because of the amount of reviews that I've seen on it. I I. You gotta tell your friends before you spend your money. Sometimes, I was not curious. always, not, not always, not always. I was. I'm curious. just grossing you. <laughs> First of all, you could fill holes in wall in your wall with this. Okay, like if you are moving and you happen to have this sitting around and you don't want to, like, you know, 
put like go get spackle. This will do just fine. This will do. You'll be just slap it in there. It's gonna. You'll be fine. No <laughs> one's gonna know the difference. It is so it's thick. Spackle. So thick. And they're like, it's full coverage. Here's the thing. I really don't like it when they use anti-aging and waterproof in the same sentence because the two do not go hand in hand. I just need you to know that when I am old, I need all the moisture in the fucking world. And I why do did not those want this dry spackle? And it's like so impossible because it comes out like a scorch. Mm -mm. It scorches mm -mm. out. So you can never just get like a smidgen of it. You've got out like so then you're just like working, like uh you're just working it into every crit. It's like it's basically a fucking foundation. Like you just it's so intense. It's oh. so heavy. I and like every time I try to use it, no matter what I do, I literally just I look like someone ran me over with a truck and then like shit in my face. <laughs> I did not expect you to go there, but I apologize. Did. No, no, no. It's more of that you just said that about yourself. Really, it's, just, it's not it like it's not my senses right now. I felt like someone was hot carling me, and I didn't appreciate it. And I was like, I didn't want any hot carl. I wanted my face to be luminous, and what I got was hot carl. A hot carl <laughs> by consent only. Request <laughs> consent, okay? No, no, no <laughs> surprise hot carls. <laughs> I just had this comment highlighted because the Zoeva 146 brush is the best concealer brush there ever is. And that's the only thing I'll probably ever buy from Zoeva because I can't be bothered otherwise. But it's a great, it's a great brush. Uh, also, I'm so sorry. You're I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say I do have one last product. That's yeah, Casey, gonna be. kabuki brushes, use them for blush. Flat top kabuki brushes, I almost use I use almost every flat top kabuki brush I have for blush. I don't love them for foundation because of the majority of them, with the exception of I feel like the Milani one. And it's because of like how they shape that one. But the majority mm. of the like flat top kabuki, it just doesn't do well for my face. It doesn't go into like crevices. It doesn't really like. Yeah. It, and it, it doesn't really provide most of the time an even application, and I hate that. Yeah, they don't I, – I, I understand why they got popular, but, but also <laughs> – but I don't like them. Also this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell no one I said hot call. <laughs> don't, don't Google it. Just know that we were talking about shitting on faces. And <laughs> okay. yes, please. Oh, my God, Lauren, please do not Google that. That will ruin Anybody that doesn't know what it is, do Google not it. Google it. Do not. I'm trying to save you here. I'm not being fun. I'm not being funny. Like, don't Google it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, on the opposite end of, of anything related to excrement, an amazing thing that I got because of is Genesis. I just, I just, oh. I remember hearing, I feel like, I feel like this was a palette that was mentioned kind of early on. Like, I didn't feel like they sneak peeked it too, too early, but I feel like it was one of those that like, I kind of knew about pretty early on. And I was like, I probably, well, with Midas, I'm not everything is insta buy. So I was like, I definitely want to see it. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gray. Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> but then this comment that follows <laughs> your use of words, P Mensa. Also, those glasses are hella cute. Yes, but uh <laughs> so if you don't know, this is the Genesis palette. This is a palette in collaboration with Midas Cosmetics and Drench Cosmetics, who's owned by Josh Killer King. And this is a beautiful 15 pan palette. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, this middle row in particular is like oh, yes. just fucking kills me. Uh yeah, so. Uh, no regrets. Like I really like the standard too. Like the state, the shade, the standard. I love the it. Standard. Very fucks me up. 
unbothered. Ooh, I like ambitious. Have you fucked with that a little bit? Because it's like I use it on my brow bone and on uh. my inner corner. But these these four together, which I managed to use the first time I I did the eye look, which is uh, excellent on the pinky, daring, unbothered, and the standard. The way that daring has pink in it, that it ties in with this pink matte, but it also has the brown and the blue, so it ties in with the browns and the blues i I fucking can't like i can't i I can't stand it like in like like what the fuck like that's beautiful i i just yeah so (laughs) i am like i i very much am a fan of this and if you've been like regarding uh, it was hank if you've yet to buy from uh oh wait yeah i want to hold on uh, and wait, I think they are, it, wait, they're different? I didn't oh. know that either. Are they different? Well, I think you're holding your... It was because originally you I'm, were holding yours upside down. Yeah. Oh, but I'm also not... Ref- I'm not mirrored. Your camera... Yeah. I don't know why I'm always mirrored. Or or I'm mirrored or whatever. Some, one of us is mirrored. I'm mirrored because uh, I have this hand up and I'm, I feel like... But it's like... Um, well, like... Yeah, I, no, you're mirrored. Yeah. yeah, I'm mirrored. I don't know why. Wait, yeah, because if I do an... That's the left hand. Huh. Wait, is I don't know. Is this my right hand? I don't... Okay, this is my left hand. Okay, so yeah, you're mirrored. Because I'm making yeah. an L right... Okay. Sorry, How do I make it's it too weird. Now? I don't know. I don't, I don't know do your fancy fucking camera. Uh, I'm like, sorry, but, I made that piece. <laughs> I thought weird. <laughs> I like how T's just like, nah, they're arranged differently. No, they're they're mirrored. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, <gasps> I don't know what I just did. I'm uh, so sorry. It's not the mirroring. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't. Wait, one more time. You have, okay? I'm gonna mirrors. look at it from here. You have blue, phenomenal, loved, ambitious, worthy. Mel- melon, mel- melon, 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 that one, daring, okay. unbothered, captivating the standard, then magical, revolutionary, educated, excellent, and influential. Wait, yeah, hold, hold yours up again. Because, hold on. So, that, Mine matches, starts up, that matches up, button. that matches up, that matches up, that matches It's probably my lighting. I feel like these colors it's because yours looks lighter that's what it is yeah yours looks lighter if i turn it more like this where it's not getting blowed the fuck out because you have like your you, aren't you using a fancy camera i'm using my phone well that's fancy bitch because <laughs> when i use my webcam it looks like you, it looks like you shot on my phone yeah they're so i can't I even know. say it like but yes, if I if I don't use my phone camera, it looks like trash. Yes, like it's I a mirror effect. Try to figure out how to like make it not mirror. So I'll figure that out after the end of the stream. I don't so think it's it. Just I don't like, think it. I mean, it does. It doesn't necessarily bother you. But anyway, I just wanted to say no, it's the lighting. It. It's because your like even your turquoise look like icy blue. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I wonder if the turquoise and silver are flipped. But no, it's the lighting in the mirror. But yes, so. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to be able to let this what go What was now. that noise? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I like, I, no, I can't let it go. <laughs> like, I can't let it go because I'm like. Also, as, <laughs> as a bonus, of, <laughs> I didn't buy it. But if you saw my new makeup, not since bingo two times ago. I literally fell out by the fact that this palette was no longer for sale because I, I wanted to like, buy yeah. it while drunk. Um, and then I won it in the giveaway in a giveaway that uh, the brand did. And so I, I'm very, I'm very happy. It's cute. It's Musée Beauty. They have other palettes, uh, but Le Hardin was limited edition. So yes, that's, but that's like, that's it, it. <laughs> and this is my last one. Yeah. That's 59, 29. Uh. Ha, 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 stand alive, stand alive. Okay, so I got, I got it. I got the Menagerie Flight Cub palette. Look at its little face, though. It's like chunky, chubby. It's, oh. 
Oh, looking great. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna be done. No, no, I'm dying because I'm over here trying to pretend it's cute. That's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am removing you from the stream. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you come over here? How dare you come in my house? I just want to do this. I'm not ashamed of what I said. I'm just ashamed of how Audra treated me. <laughs> the way I was just like, bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> this bat is so fucking cute. I do not. Yes, Peppy. Audra is channeling their inner world wrestling entertainment wrestler coming here with the drama. I have to get to like the mic oh. <laughs> and get real creepy with it and be like, you, you think. <laughs> and I'll be the, the cheap seats one over here with, instead of a mic, I have a, a hairbrush. Oh, Debbie. I do not have the violent ink. Um, I have a video uh, on this going up on Thursday. Since we're here, like there are a few things I will say. Like it's really pretty. Um, it's just such a fun, pretty little palette. It's very springy, very spring. I don't know why. It's because I like. Let me move that. Let me move that Wait. so it's more true to color. There we go. But no, I did. I don't have. This is my first menagerie palette. Um, I had kind of been on the fence of like buying from them because like people said that they like some people said that some of their palettes stained. I didn't run into that issue at all. I did not have any issues with staining. I was like, it's all good. So it was, ha, I feel vindicated. Just like going way back. The KVD um, um, Apple bullshit <laughs> has a rating of three stars on. on you Sephora. need to do a video. Get your <laughs> views. Get your views. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Because it even says it here. <laughs> like people, like I, somebody even <laughs> said the same thing I said. It's not easy to you. Wait, wait, I'm hey, missing it. <laughs> so you don't like bats? Well, I. It doesn't matter if you don't like bats. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you don't like bats. Thank you yeah. for doing the rock justice because I failed right there. <laughs> I fucking love the rock. The rock is like, yes, yes. The rock is the example of like what wrestler, like the height, in my opinion, of creating a wrestler caricature yeah, of many, of many know. wrestlers. <laughs> At the end of all of my Twitch streams, usually the last 30 to 45 minutes of my Twitch stream is us watching wrestling. <laughs> We're watching WWE. And so I'm, I'm introducing everybody to the characters. But that's what I'm wearing tonight, actually. I am wearing this palette. So there we go. Tracy was on the money. Look yes. At that. Yes. So the the like not full, but like the first impression kind of review of it will be up on Thursday. No, sir, you I don't need your help. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a whole thing. I I we spend a lot of time doing that. It's it's dumb, but it's a good time, and it's a fun, dumb, good time. <laughs> And I showed everybody the rock doing it doesn't matter what your name is. I just love how the chat is just like activated. <laughs> Cause like he be walking around calling everybody jabronis and candy asses. I'm framing us as like the two villains after my back comment. <laughs> it's oh my God, the the with okay. the chair. Is that is that Bo coming up behind the betrayal? Like, I 
love how this was a chill stream. This was us being like, let's do something let's chill. chill. And I'm like off my rocker the entire night in the best way possible. I was nonverbal 90% of the day. So like, and it was wonderful. And I'm going to do that for myself more. <laughs> Lawrence and Emily, you have offended the bat community. <laughs> Oh, but this is interesting. You got to rock, watch Young Rock, the series of The Rock telling his oh. stories as a kid. Okay. Where is that? Is it streamable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Even oh it was a sitcom. I feel like Davina is consistently sold out and they just do their big, they do like a drop. They'll do like a drop. Yeah. And then that's unfortunate is like, there are some brands that like, I feel like with Indies, there's like the brands that run on pre-orders. And then there are the brands that are like, whatever's in stock is what we have in stock. And it's hard to figure out who behaves in what way. Um. <laughs> Well, okay, I already canceled myself when we did a new makeup nonsense bingo, and that that palette was in there, and I said what I said in the video, and the comments were like, 50% love, like, you're right, those pads are ugly, and 50%, those pads are ugly. Oh, there goes my mic. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, so uh, I said what I said. And uh, if anybody needs an apology, it's too late. I am sending the spider community and the bat community your way. You okay. don't know. The spider shall cancel out the bats. I also have told you I was thinking about moving. So, you know. <laughs> Emily, you've sent packages to me. I have your hair. I will find you. <laughs> You truly, I truly have to imagine you as a wrestling villain right now, because otherwise I could possibly be scared. And I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> well, and the hair comment doesn't even surprise me, because I know you send mail if you're a mess like me. You have hair that falls out into the package. Yeah, so. Every <laughs> Grace, Grace shows her hair. You are in danger, girl. I know. Oh, that's cracking me up. I'm just going full Gattaca. <laughs> Thank you. Friends are allowed to disagree, except about cute bats. I'm not. There will be no bat slander in my house. You can slander bats in your house, but when you come to my house, <laughs> this is a bat love zone. This is where we love bats. This is where we like to look at them and their little bat tongues as they like lick things and like we like to watch them pee upside down, like where they turn. You see the tiny one in your hands, like listen, bats are amazing. <laughs> this is me right now. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh Except God, not. I can't <laughs> oh. To end the stream, this is the best way to end it. Is with Deja saying everyone should come up with their WWE name. I'll start. It's just Deja Vu. Because once you see me in the ring, you'll wish you'd never seen me before. Okay. <laughs> Deja wins tonight. Deja wins the chat tonight. <laughs> so a huge thank you to everyone for being here. Uh, I appreciate all of you. I We will be on Emily's channel on Thursday. Thursday. It will be yes. a good time, either Friday or Saturday, depending on my, what I can coordinate with my guests. I will have, have a guest. Yay. On my channel, big sneakies. 
it's not really sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Already know. but like i have a guest we're gonna we're gonna do a fresh face sessions is uh the april's edition of fresh face session will be going on that's hard to say really fast but like uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh bella if you are new i'm not sure if you are new but Every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, we're on Audra's channel. And every Thursday, same time, we're on my channel, which is linked in the description box. Okay. Yeah. All the information is welcome. in the description box below. Um, I feel like, oh, except for um, um, whenever New Makeup Nonsense bingos come out, we typically don't. So I think it's becoming every other week, and then we are moving yes. the Tuesday stream to some other day. Yep. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, or whatever t time it is, wherever you are. Thank you for spending some of your time with us. I hope all of you have a great time, and you know it costs zero, zero dollars. To be kind, it is so good for your soul. Because if you don't take care of it, you sure as hell know I'm coming for yours. <laughs> Until next time. Or if, so or if you're me, it's the bats. <laughs> I know. God, the girl, bye, y'all.